my name is Alana and welcome to day 3 of 28 Days of Self-Love Yoga, where I am posting 15-minute yoga flows every day in the month of February, each with their own self-love-focused affirmation. Today's video is a yin yoga flow focused on flexibility and presence, where we hold each pose for about a minute um, and just really try to be present within the body and not be thinking of external things. So we don't need any props for this video, however, I have a blanket in case I get a little cold since we're just sitting here, we're not up and flowing in a vinyasa flow. So let's go ahead and begin in deer pose. So bringing your left leg to the top of your mat and extending your right leg down. So both legs should be at a 90 degree angle your left shin facing the front of the mat, and then your right thigh coming directly out from your right hip. You'll feel a good stretch through the right hip here, and you can even walk your hands back behind you to intensify the stretch. Really breathing into the sensations that you feel and not going too deep. You want to feel it, but you don't want to be in pain or feel it pinching you. And staying connected to your breath, internally repeat the affirmation, I live in the present. I live in the present. Go ahead and walk your palms back in, and then pick your right knee up and swing it around, and stack your right knee on your left foot, crossing your right ankle over the left knee, like so. And you can either stay upright if this is enough for you, you can always leave space between your knee, don't force anything. Or if you feel comfortable with it, you can extend your arms out in front of you, drawing your forehead down towards your shins. And noticing how this changes the posture. Notice where you feel sensation and breathe into it. I live in the present. On your next inhale, slowly press yourself back up. And then keeping the right knee bent, extend the left leg out long, bringing the right sole of foot to your left inner thigh. Squaring the hips towards the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, and exhale, fold forward, passively allowing your palms to face up and drawing your forehead towards your knee. Noticing how this forward fold is different from the first few that we've done. Notice where you feel it. Is it somewhere different? Or is it the same? I live in the present.
On your next inhale, press into the palms and slowly come back up. And draw the right knee up and cross the right foot over the left leg, coming into a twist, hooking your left elbow, right leg. Maybe keeping the fingers interlaced in front of the thigh or fully stretching the right arm back, coming into a twist, keeping the hips pointed forward and only twisting with your upper body. And exhale to release. Extending both legs out long in front of you and maybe tapping out the knees before moving into deer on the second side. So bring your right shin to face the front of your mat and bring your left leg out behind you so that your left thigh comes directly out from your left hip. And once you feel comfortable here, you can start to walk your hands back, stretching through the inner left thigh and connecting to your breath once more, noticing how this side of the body might differ from the first. And that's okay. I live in the present. Slowly walk your hands back in and bring your left leg up and around, stacking the left knee on top of the right foot, crossing the left ankle over the right knee. Inhale to sit up tall and stay here or walk the hands out in front of you. Forward folding, drawing the forehead down towards the shins. I live in the present. On your next inhale, press yourself back up, slowly coming up into a seat and keeping the left knee bent, extend the right leg out long, bringing the left sole of foot to the right thigh, keeping your hips pointed to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms overhead and exhale, fold over the right leg, drawing the forehead towards the knee, but allowing gravity to do the work for you. I live in the present. On your next inhale, press into the fingertips, roll back up, and cross the left foot over the right leg, hooking the right elbow on the left knee, and either keeping the fingers interlaced or extending the left arm back behind you, coming into an upper body twist. Exhale to release and extend both legs out long and take your legs wide on your mat. So we're going to move into a wide-legged forward fold here. 
And this is a pose that I struggle with a lot. So <laughs> just do what your body is capable of today. But inhale, make sure that you can sit up with a tall spine, no matter how wide your legs are. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Again, allowing the palms to rest face up and passively forward folding. I live in the present. Inhale to press yourself back up and slowly pull your legs back together and lie down onto your back. Draw the soles of feet in to touch, allowing your knees to fall out to the sides for reclined butterfly pose. You can rest your hands on your hips or you can rest your hands out at your side whatever is most comfortable for you. Allowing the work that we did today sink into the body. Noticing the difference in the way your hips may feel. And focusing in onto your breath. If you'd prefer to take Shavasana with your legs extended, feel free to do so. But otherwise, get all the last little wiggles out and fall into your breath, internally repeating, I live in the present. I live in the present. On your next inhale, slowly reach your arms up and overhead for a full body stretch before rolling over onto your favorite side and keeping your eyes closed, pressing yourself up into a seat. Resting your hands on your knees or bringing your hands to heart center for three final grounding breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling to sigh out the mouth in three, two, one. I live in the present. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for completing this practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications to know when I upload the next self-love yoga video tomorrow. If you missed the first, I will have that link here, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys!